I think in the current current crisis, um, I think they didn't. I mean, it was quite uh, it was quite strange what happened. No, I don't think so. I think um, everyone's kind of paranoid at the moment, and it's quite comforting to know that the police were there and could it could potentially have been worse. Maybe a little bit, yes. Uh, because at first I thought um, I would I live here just next door. And uh, when I heard the somebody came knocking on my door, I think it was the police, and um, he, uh, they didn't really explain to me what happened. Overall, it's fine. I, I'd rather be safe, I guess, than sorry. In some ways, yes, but we've had the... Because there have been so many attacks recently in London, I think it's better to be on the safe side and to be cautious about it. Maybe slightly, yeah, but obviously with everything that's going on at the moment, can't really be too careful. So, um, yeah, I mean, a briefcase, obviously, it does look a bit suspicious, but you never know like what's going to happen. In a statement from Cambridge Constabulary, they said that police were called just before 7.15pm yesterday with the report of an abandoned briefcase outside the church in King's Parade, Cambridge. Roads in the area were closed and nearby buildings were evacuated as a precaution. Explosives Ordnance Disposal attended and the briefcase was destroyed in a controlled explosion. In light of the events that unfolded in this city centre on Monday evening, do people feel safe in Cambridge? Yeah, I've been here for two years now and I've never felt unsafe. There are always people walking around. Um, the main roads are quite well lit um, at night and it just feels generally quite safe. I must admit, like, I am a little bit, a little bit worried because obviously it's happened in London, it's happened in Manchester, like two of the biggest places in the UK and obviously Cambridge is another one. So yeah, it's quite worrying, but I'm not going to let it stop me doing my day-to-day -day thing, like going to work and stuff like that. So no, I'm not going to not going to be scared. This is Kachira Sestine for That's TV.